Make time for each other every single day, every single week. And then, and then on repeat. You guys are extremely busy if you're both professionals or someone's, you know, whatever it is that makes your schedule so busy. And I know they're so busy. I know that they are. Right, SubhanAllah? Make time for each other. Make sure that when you're leaving the home, you give each other a quick kiss, a quick hug. Make that normal. Or talk about obviously family appropriate in front of your kids. Make that normal, right? A lot of times in our homes, we grew up, it's like, <laughs> and like never touch, like, you know, come on. <laughs> I know that there's social norms and that's okay, but so, you know, not, not only should that be a display amongst, before your kids, so that they can see that that's something healthy to look forward to, but that's a very important touch point for you and your spouse. And when, when you come back home, same thing, give a, give a hug, give a hug. Give a little appropriate kiss, you know, a peck on the cheek, on the forehead, some type of love tap, something, but make that consistent. You guys have really busy schedules, text each other, you know, text, text what you're having for lunch, you know, text, you know, I miss you, whatever, right? Do that once a day. Um, as much as it is possible, try to have that 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes of having tea together, actually talking something beyond the bills and who should have done what and how come you didn't do the dishes and look at the trash that's outside and you still didn't fix the leaky pipe, what's wrong with you, right? <laughs> beyond all of that, connect, connect, connect. Then when, you're, when, 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 when troubles happen, as they will do, as Sohal mentioned and as you mentioned, it's natural, those fights are gonna be less caustic, C-A-U-S-T-I-C, -C, right? That type of, you know, it's gonna be less corrosive because you've connected. So um, there's like a nice saying, what is it? Fighting is less about how you actually, you know, what is it, what you actually fight about, but it's how you fight. We don't want to be mudslinging. We don't want to be nasty towards each other, name calling. So the more we can connect with each other in a loving way, build that friendship, spend time together, ask each other questions, like get to know each other. Always there's things that are changing. As human beings, we change all the time. The nature of our relationship will change all the time. So keep up to date with, you know, what they like, what they don't like. Um, try to facilitate that, both husband and wife, right? Speak the love language that your, that your spouse speaks. And that can really, really strengthen foundation so that when tough times fall, as they will, it doesn't really crumble the house, inshallah. Jazakallah, okay. okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَأَخَدْنَ مِنْكُمْ مِثَاقًا غَلِيظًا That we have taken from you, O men, a weighty, heavy covenant as it regards to your women. And so marriage is a serious matter, right? And it's not something to be taken lightly. We don't, um, at the slightest, you know, at the slightest difficulties, just, um, you know, over-dramatize and catastroph catastrophize what's taking place in marriage. And to make marriage work, uh, there's a nice saying, they say that marriage is not about getting what you want, but marriage is about wanting what you get. And what that means is, everybody's mind is spinning. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, marriage is not about getting what you want. You can't mold your spouse into the person that you want them to be. But it's about getting what you want. Meaning, wanting what you, wanting what you get. Even I did it right. Uh, <laughs> um, it's about making the best of what you have in your relationship, learning your spouse, understanding them, loving them for who they are, not who you dream them to be, um, and, and putting your energy into that, accepting their shortcomings. The Prophet Sallallahu he told us, you know, لا يفرق مؤمن مؤمنة, that a believing man, a husband, should not despise their, their wife. Um, in if there's something that you don't like about her, then there's other things that you like about her. Focus on the positive, right? And marriage is so much of that, just focusing on the positive, um, accepting uh, them for who they are, loving them for who they are. And, um, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all.